Don't buy me jewelry with any diamond part. Because I have inside me this Clarity F diamond heart, polished by jewelers in possession of a silver tongue, trying to sell their lies off as the greatest song ever sung. <laughs> Who would you think you are to try to woo me? Sing me a serenade, thinking I'd let you do me? And yes, you did gauge the temperature right on this cold shoulder, freezing your confidence and dropping it like a boulder. You really think I should deign to smile at you because you say I look nice? I really couldn't care less because your opinion to me is like tea without the ice. Now you're going to say, I'm cold, and I'm cruel, and I'm calculating. But you see, it's only cruelty to which I'm reacting. So, unless you really want to see yourself diminished, you better realize that I am something you should never have wished. I once thought... Hard. Wrote a letter so intense, receiving it far surpasses extravagant compliments. But I found no woman worthy to endow with such reverence. So instantly I regretted. In a hasty act of repentance, I took that paper in a tight fist to rip it to pieces, but the pages held that content like a thousand Hercules on steroids. So I threw it in fire, desperate to torch it, but the hot composition killed the fire by scorching. My last resort, seal it in a bottle with a cork. I cocked back my hand, threw it, twisted my back, and it did not only go far, it went back in time, all the way back to 1912. Plus it landed in the ocean, I was pleased with myself. But the bottled letter sent chills down the spine of a wave turning that wave into an iceberg, the nice words grave. This happened April 15th, far in the Atlantic. So I feel bad, because that iceberg sank the Titanic. I tell you this, because I found someone worthy to hear that letter I wrote with immaculate wording. But losing it almost had me frightened and paralyzed. Though fortunately for me, I have it all memorized. And if I want to see her again, all I have to do is close my eyes.